Talk to you guys about little Miss Cora from Korean K9. Mm -hmm. Talk about your experience from when you first got her. How long has that been? It's been about four months. Yes. Three to four months. Yeah. Yeah. And how was she when she first came to you? Would you be able to do this? No, not okay. at all. She'll run no. away by now. <laughs> Any touching mm -hmm. would not come up onto any surface. Just wanted to stay in her crate. Yeah, she wouldn't even want to like come like you know. Well, yeah, we can yeah. touch her back, her legs, her stomach. Oh yeah, she would like collapse down. When Putting a collar on yeah. is difficult. Mm -hmm. She won't eat any treats. Yeah, she won't eat food in general from you, right? No, and a lot of it's just been noticing and responding to yeah. how she reacts to things. Yeah, I try to okay. meet her. Um, if she's uncomfortable, figure out why, and then not doing the same thing again. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Any examples? Uh, I think a lot of it was right when we got her wanting to pet her, wanting to have this cuddly dog, but she's not a cuddly dog. Yeah. And knowing that she's gone through a lot, and then just understanding that you got to give her her space and she has to feel mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. And she'll come out of her shell when she wants to. We can't force that. And, uh, and now that she is, and she's running around and being much more lively and happy, and it's just been giving her time. Yes, time's been a big thing, patience. Yeah. Yeah. What is it now? What, what, what kind of dog are you seeing that you have now after about three, four months with the work you've done, the patience? She's very calm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is yeah, very she, accurate. I mean, very, we are lucky that she is not a, much of a barker, so that's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think she's definitely, she knows that this is safe mm -hmm. and she knows that we mean like good for her. Mm -hmm. And that to me, I think has been the most rewarding part because when we're outside or anything or around new situations, she's like, oh, we're still friends. We're always here. Yeah. And she's not nervous when we're outside walking or anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. even, yeah, just at home, just being able to have her come up and <laughs> lay next to us. It's like, crazy. this is a huge accomplishment. Huge accomplishment. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you didn't start this way. You started with a lot more structure, rules, oh, right? Completely. Boundaries and, mm -hmm. and take, take her to the park. And what kind of stuff have you done in the park that you feel has helped your relationship? Um, I'd say sitting with her and getting her used to just being outdoors, mm -hmm. um, seeing where she goes, kind of following her, doing different trainings of that. Recall even, um, whether it's a distance between us mm -hmm. or even just nearby and having her come over and mm -hmm. smell us. Mm -hmm. And also um, like um, being consistent. Yeah. Like he will take her out, I'll take her out. We'll try to do the same thing, no matter who's taking her out. Yeah. So That's I think that, huge. yeah, now she like, at certain I mean, even, like, areas, she would like sit because she knows like she gets a treat there. And, you know, <laughs> well, I think the like leash that. control even right from the beginning when we were putting the ones on her nose, mm -hmm. the transitional, yeah, the the transitional leash, leash yeah. was such a huge difference compared to the previous one with the what's it called? Yeah, the martingale. Yeah, yeah, the martingale. Yeah, yeah. Right, and you had a harness before she that. She didn't really right? do anything with martingale. She's like, okay, it's a little tight on my neck, but it didn't affect her. And the instant they went on her nose with the transitional, she's like, oh, okay, like, you guys are leading this, you're in charge. So you had more control with uh, the canine lifelines transitional yeah. leash, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with communicating with her, and she yeah. seemed to be calmer. Yeah. Yeah. The harness was just made her really nervous in the beginning. It was just that um, her legs are definitely her sensitive spot, and yeah. she really didn't trust us enough to um, no. let us touch Another her. day we put the harness on and put her in a car, and she was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> like, completely new dog in the sense of, like, <laughs> yeah. putting something on sure. her. Well, you've yeah. earned trust, right? Yeah. It yeah. takes time to earn that trust of yeah. you, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. now it's through learning to trust you in the situation. She's more comfortable yeah. in the situation. Great. Mm -hmm. She's so chill right now. She's chill. <laughs> so want. She's comfortable next to you. Yeah. With even me in the room, she's more comfortable mm -hmm. and taking food and more and just learning to enjoy life. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to help you tell the world what it takes to help a very fearful dog um, overcome her fears and yeah. trust of people mm -hmm. to gain the trust and more comfortable in uh, the crazy city we live in. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks.